The washing requires a slightly different treatment, as it consists of grey tones. We shall therefore have to expose aquatint grains into the photopolymer film. They are to bind the etching ink in the black and grey areas so that we can avoid an open bite. The first time the aquatint screen is used, it must be calibrated for the ultraviolet light and thus ensure that the final print contains all the greys of the washing. Cover a laminated plate with the aquatint screen in the vacuum frame. Now place a light proof plate on top and turn on the ultraviolet light. Move the light proof plate a little every 15 seconds. This will produce a photopolymer film with an aquatint screened exposure scale going from 15 to 90 seconds. The aquatint screen is bought ready made and will last you a lifetime if you treat it properly. Now develop the exposed plate in the soda solution. Develop the plate until the aquatint grains can be felt, like fine sandpaper. If the development is inadequate, you won't be able to feel them, and if you overdevelop the plate, you risk washing away the grains. You must rely on your senses. If the plate begins to appear very coppery in the developer, you will have overdeveloped it. If the aquatint grains cannot be felt, extend the developing process a little. When the aquatint grains can clearly be felt, dry the plate and harden it in ultraviolet light for a minimum of three minutes. Finally, ink up and print the plate. The print will show a scale of grey tones. The jet black area is the correctly exposed one. The corresponding exposure time was in this case 60 seconds. We are now ready to expose the washing. First expose the photopolymer film through the aquatint screen. Our calibration showed 60 seconds to be the perfect duration of the exposure. And this will be the same, always, provided that the strength of the ultraviolet light bulb and the distance between the bulb and the vacuum frame are not altered. Replace the aquatint screen with the washing. The first time you expose a washing, it should also be calibrated, the same way as the aquatint screen. Where the test shows correct greys, you will have found a guideline for future washings. In this case, the optimum exposure is 90 seconds. The plate was exposed with the aquatint screen first, then the washing. The image will soon appear clearly. Develop until you can see the copper in the dark areas and clearly hear the sponge rub over the aquatint, as though it were sandpaper. Take the plate out of the developer from time to time and check it with the back of your hand. When it's been developed, dry it in the drying cabinet, harden it in ultraviolet light and print it. If the print is too dark with loss of detail or areas of open bite, 
the washing needs more UV exposure. If too light, less exposure.